What's going on guys, Shane here. Today I wanna to talk about the difference between hip rotation and shoulder rotation to give you a better understanding of how to generate power while keeping proper technique. Let's take a look. Okay, so to demonstrate the difference between hip rotation and shoulder rotation, I'm gonna throw a cross. And with this punch, first time I'm only gonna rotate the shoulders and not rotate the hips. Looks like this. Okay, conversely now, I'm just gonna rotate the hips, but I'm not gonna move my shoulders, which looks like this. When I combine that, that's when I get the perfect punch. All about timing is Okay. Now, when you teach beginners this, and you read it in blogs, and you read it in comments, that power comes from the hips, power comes from the legs, people tend to get hippie is what I call it, and they over-rotate with the hips. They want a powerful punch, so it looks like this. But when you do this, what's especially wrong, besides being out of position and off balance and actually having less power, is your follow-up punch. Let's say you want to throw a left hook. Now it has to travel from back here a very far distance before it lands, and that's time that you lost. If I cut that rotation in half, I want you to take a look at what it looks like. Much quicker than if I were to over-rotate. Okay, it's about a half a second in between, and that makes a difference. It's the difference of you landing the shot or you getting hit, okay? So don't over-rotate. And another problem that people have is they only rotate. There is no shoulder pop. And I know people say you shouldn't punch from the arm, you shouldn't punch from the shoulder, but I disagree. If you time it all correctly, the rotation of the hips, pulling of the shoulders, and the pop of the arm punch, that's how you really get that perfect punch. So with that same one, we're gonna throw that left hook again. If I don't have any movement with my arms, it looks like this. That's not the correct punch. It's not incorrect, but we can get a lot more power, a lot more speed if we use a little bit of our shoulder. It's a huge muscle, we might as well use it, okay? I'm also using my hips. I'm also pivoting on the lead foot. I'm also pulling my shoulder back. So it's not incorrect. You should use your arm when you throw your punch. It is a punch, all right? So the difference between this and that. You can already see the difference. That's the proper way to throw a punch. Now, we're gonna focus more so on the difference between drive and whip, that whipping motion, in next week's video. And it'll give you a better understanding of timing, rhythm, and balance. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So keep this lesson in mind when you're training, but be careful that you don't get paralysis through analysis and overthink it. Sometimes you just gotta throw them hands. In a fight, it's okay to throw a haymaker or two if the situation applies. If you knock someone out, at the end of the day, it's the effectiveness that counts. You don't have to look pretty doing it. All right, so train hard, fight smart, and throw them hands. Until next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the Underdogs.